Hey guys, welcome back to the 415 Podcast with your girls, Miss B and Keita. Hey girl. Hey. What you doing? Nothing to listen to this podcast. What podcast? The 415 Podcast. Yeah. And with Miss B and Keita. I got you. So That's somebody said, you all Y'all know when I got mine. She said she was making it for her co work. <laughs> I don't know what that was for, but it just, you rang. You it rang. Felt, it felt like it needed to go there. Come on now. Look, y'all, like this is the last week of April. We are saying goodbye to our birthday month. Oh my goodness. It was such a dope month. Yes, it was. It was so dope. So, dope. so dope. I literally dope. just recovered. I just recovered from everything that I did. Yeah. Because <laughs> listen, sis was doing everything. She was down in Florida. She went to D.C., she went to a Colombian little restaurant. She daggone was thrifting at all the spots she went to. Came back to New York, you know, went thrifting in New York City this past weekend. And listen, comparing New York City to Georgia prices, a blazer in Georgia is about $4.99, $5.99, most $6.99. Blazers in New York City, try they $15.99. Mm. Child, that's too much for me. <laughs> I lucked out because the one that I picked up was a Zara one, because that's the one thing. Like when you go and you know thrifting in New York City, you're gonna get those brands. So I lucked out because there was no tag on this. It's a yellow mustard. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, with like a pearl, it's a three-quarter sleeve and it has a big pearl. Like that's the detail I need. Okay, come on, pearl. So um I lucked out, there was no tags, and the color of the day was red, which meant 40% off, or it was really the color of the week. Um, so he was like, I was like, man, I never get the red tag. He was like, well, today's your lucky day, because there ain't no tag on this one, so you can get that $8.99. So I was like, ooh, come on, $8.99, I like that better than 15 It still costs more than Georgia. You I still want the $5.99 on top of that when they had a $0.99 cent day. How you, you get a blaze for a $0.99? Cent? It was $0.99, cent. come on, Malcolm Moore, at your shop. So yeah, You're crazy. I know I'm a mess. Y'all understand like this thrift thing, it's not a game. Tell it ain't a game. That's it. It's not a game with me. I got this in a bag. I literally got a bag too. <laughs> yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, hands off. I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yesterday, actually, I thought about you because the guy, because I was like, oh, I need to try this on. He was like, you might want to watch that first. I'm like, that means I need to buy it. You don't take, you don't take returns. So if I buy it and it don't fit, I'm screwed. I'm stuck with it. I mean, I can mm -hmm. obviously resell it, but I was trying to get it for myself. Right. So he's just like, but, um, you know, the people really don't wash it. I'm like, I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a thrifter. I've been doing this for like 17, 18 years. This is not new. I ain't new to this. I'm true mm -hmm. to this. You feel? So he was like, yeah, a lot of people be like this. I was like... <laughs> Like, uh, damn, is it what? Uh, that was wait, cute what, when we went. What, 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 what ace ace? You got the scurvy. Damn. Yo, because she was like, yo, we wasn't even in the store when we went. <laughs> we weren't even in the store for five minutes. And she's talking about, yo, man, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to go. I got to take me a shower, yo. <laughs> Like you already yeah. take like 10,000 showers a day anyway. Yo, listen. I, I literally said to somebody the other day, I was like, yo, I feel like I'd be in the house all day and I would take like three, four showers for no reason at all. Like, what are you doing? At least you know I'm clean. At least you know I'm clean because they're going to, that's one thing she's going to be in the house clean with no, nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, at my all God. times. That is funny. Oh, wow. Well, we hope you all are doing well out there. Hope you've been cracking up with us because we have been a trip, literally, these last hundred and what, 141 episodes. Like, we have been a trip, you know, a good trip, 
142, you mean? Well, including this one, it'll be 142. But the last ones, yeah, 141. Mm -hmm. Why she got to try to correct me what I was right, what I said what I was right? Not bad. Anyway, this is episode 142, okay? And we decided we wanted to talk about what, Kita? Today we're going to talk about self-care before we get into self-care. Yes. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you click like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave a comment. If you have some things to say, just say them. Also, if you would like to come on to the podcast and chill with your girls, let us know. You're... We have a link to fill out that form. So fill on out our that IG, form. On yes. our IG page at the 415 pod. You feel me? So, you know, just come on and hit chill with your girls. Hang with your girls, you know. Come do it. We won't come bite. Come do it. Yeah, it is a... I mean, we won't. <laughs> knew that was coming <laughs> i knew that was coming she a trick i can't i can't with it but yeah like she said do those things we need those we need those and we love to have a conversation we love talking this is what we do mm -hmm. we love to have a good time come on now we can have a good time and we can have serious conversation too so mm -hmm. come on get you somebody who can do both things okay hello hey versatility they say versatility, versatility. that's us hey, come hey, on hey Mm hmm So want to throw out again RIP D DMX, RIP to Shock G. I just found out that uh Marky D from Fat Boys passed back in February. So RIP to him, like had no clue. Um, you know, that you see it a lot, but I did not see that one. And I was all the way on in February, so there was no reason why I would have missed that if they really was, but people weren't really talking about it. Um who else? Black Rob, RIP. That was crazy. I know there was like all those pictures that came out, you know, they was doing like the before and now it was just like a drastic change. Right. And, you know, people just saying like hip hop is taking like hits, hits like heavy hits, like man. And then, you know, I watched the live funeral memorial service and I was like, yo, whose choir is this? Because they is given. Kanye West choir and I was like what? that makes sense yes I'm like that makes sense because of what they had on I was like what the choirs got on you heard me then choirs what the choirs got what on because I, on? I didn't watch it yesterday child Kanye West stuff mm. you already know what that the looked holy like clothes? child they look like rats to me the holy, the ho the holy clothes I they guess show. Yeah, I get you. Surprise, he ain't calling it yet. Don't take my idea, Kanye. <laughs> if you do, I want my money. <laughs> Yo, but seriously, like, they were singing. And I, like, really had to just think back before before Kanye went left. Mm -hmm. Because he had the song, Jesus Walks. Like, you gotta, like, he got yeah, a relationship. Kanye's a beef. Yeah, He's a he beef. got a relationship. DMX, just, he, you know, I know he walked and in he, the he, had a, he got his relationship. <laughs> God, relate. If you ever listen to a DMX prayer, mm -hmm. oh my God, the conviction. Hello, hello. My dad said he sounded like a deacon. He does. <laughs> I mean, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, just because you your walk is different, don't mean that your relationship is any is not is it. Uh, we know it's not as say. important, right? As mm -hmm. anybody else who walk may look like they're. Cause you never know. This the same ones that be Bible thumping in the church ain't always the ones that's always on point. So and that's DMX, the thing. DMX relationship and Kanye relationship with God may be way better mm -hmm. than the ones that's in church. Mm -hmm. Just saying. It's like that right? though. It's like that. When you know, growing up, I grew up Baptist, and they had all these rules. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't like we couldn't wear skirts. I mean, we couldn't wear pants. We had to wear skirts, and they had to be at our knees. You know, when you stand up. Well, should I stand up? When you stand up, you know, wherever your hands meet, that's where the skirt needs to be. So it's just like all these rules. And I was just like, gosh. And then when I finally graduated, you know, went off to college and found my own way, I discovered a non-denominational. You feel me? Come on. When I when they said come as you are, they said come as you are. Child, I ain't like wearing short skirts because my booty was too big. It nice. was tight in the front. It was tight in the back and low in the front. <laughs> Then they really was talking. Ooh. That thing was like this. <laughs> I was like, 
like, yo, I hate, I hate wearing, oh, I hate wearing skirts. Don't get the G mm. skirts because them things be riding all the way up. Right. Don't be riding no, all no, sides. No, no flare skirts for them things be hitched up like this in the back, low like this in the front. Yo, I had to throw oh. that picture out there. You need to throw, yo, you need to throw I that picture. I hated that. I do, there is no picture with me in a skirt. <laughs> like, literally, my, I used to dress like a zombie boy all because I did not like wearing skirts just because of that because my butt was that big. Well, you got little. one picture in a skirt. I do. Oh, yeah. When we did that event. I was smaller. You talking about the white skirt. The white skirt. I was smaller. I was yeah. smaller than, I mean, I'm just saying my butt isn't, as wasn't, I'm talking about a little girl walking around. Because, <laughs> you know, you look at everybody else and they run their little, remember when they, remember when people used to wear the Medina skirts back in the day? <laughs> the, little, the, the little tennis outfit? Yeah. I'm going to get me one. I should buy me one. Just a little throwback. Mm-hmm. Throwback. And everybody used to have a little tennis skirt, a little tennis outfit, whatever. I had one, but my skirt was high in the front, low and low and like. So all you had was back. a jacket. No, I had the skirt, but I hated wearing it because of my the way my butt made the That's skirt. That's what I'm saying. Look. So you only rocked the, the jacket. Yeah. I was so Not mad. Yet, but yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, this is Wax, son. I don't want to wear no skirts, so I I went wear skirts. Nope, Mm-mm. that's funny. And Mm-mm. I remember Miss B was like, "Yo, um, wear your dress to the club." No, I ain't wearing damn dress to the club. That was the main like that. Let me tell you I something. Would, she wouldn't would wear the dress. She wouldn't wear heels. This girl had flip flops with her every time. I was like, sure. You know, one thing, know. She, one thing you wouldn't know about me. I'm gonna always be comfortable. But look, my thing is, I'm already tall and she's short. So I have on like four or five inches and she wearing flip flops. I look like dad on Amazon compared to her. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't, look, I ain't about to stoop down. I'm going to still pose, but it's just like, come on, put your heels on. But it's fine. She I'm wear them say. now. Look, she I'm wear them now. Because anyway. I'm a little smaller now. Anyway. I feel like my butt looks better in a, in a skirt now. It didn't look, it didn't look good then. For me. And, and anyway, we can just talk about that. That could be a whole conversation. Just talk about all the stuff that I've been trying to get her to do now. She's doing right now, but that's fine. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, yo, but you know, moving right along. Mm. Moving right along. <laughs> Self care. Like, you, you probably hear people say, oh, it's self care Saturday. Self care is any day. Okay. It just happens to be a self-care Saturday for me because that's when I really have the time to do it. Mm-hmm. But um, self-care is, is anything from, you know, doing a spa, you know, for key to doing your nails, you know, pedicure, manicure, you know, going to the salon, getting your hair done. It's really about just taking time out for you and not feeling bad about it either really spending money you know on yourself or do it yourself right so in my case I have my own hair steamer and facial steamer all in one system so I save money I don't have to go to somebody to get my face steamed to get my hair steamed I can do it myself so there are things that you can do you know yourself and (laughs) I'm about to put that video out anyway (laughs) So yeah, you know, so it's just really just taking care of yourself because during this pandemic, you know, or whatever, your job, whatever's going on, you know, you kind of lose focus and you stop taking care of your skin, you know, some people ain't flossing, y'all need to get your teeth right, you know, get over there and floss and look, do it right, do do the floss right, you know. Get it right. You're going to be smiling if people's face got old food for two days ago in your, in your teeth. <laughs> so my anger, I'm like, what is that over there? <laughs> Come on, my dear. <sighs> but, you know, I'm going to pass the key to, you know, so she can add on to, you know, what I said. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I'm going to say that self-care is important until you understand me. Um, Yep. Sometimes that self care, you know, it doesn't. It's not about 
all it's not always about you know spending money going to a spa whatever whatever it's about letting up letting folks know <laughs> listen <laughs> i gotta take some time off for me and i need to get my mind together so i i don't feel like talking to nobody right now okay? i need phone off I don't, I don't want to talk i don't want to talk and you know then people telling you it's okay you know but i, I, ju- I just want you to know i'm here for you i get it she lying because I sent that message, but go ahead. I get it. I get it. No, somebody else sent me that message too. I'm just being I, funny. You know, I had to throw it out there. Oh, so I, I, said, oh. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, if there's a lot going on, there I, I can't talk to you about everything. I can't talk to certain people about everything. So don't tell me, but I'm here. I just want you to, I get it because I'm going to just avoid your phone call. I just needed some time to myself. I needed to, I needed, I needed to regroup, recalibrate, you know, get my mind right. It's a lot of things popping for me right now. Well, it's not a lot of things popping for me, but it's a lot of things. <clears throat> I feel like. A lot of shifts. There's a lot of shifts happening. Mm-hmm. That is, I, I was expecting it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, damn, this shit is really happening. I'm not <laughs> expecting it. <laughs> so it's like my mind is trying to, go, oh, snap, what's happening right now? Like, okay, girl, we're going crazy. We're going crazy. <laughs> A tornado going on over there. We're like, we're going crazy. <laughs> but hold on to your horses. We're going to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, this is us on a regular. I swear, that's funny. Oh no. my gosh! But that's how I feel right now. Like seriously. Um. So I just had. To, I got to regroup. I got to get my mind together. Like today. Um. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do all this stuff. I'm. Try, I'm thinking I'm gonna do all this stuff on Sunday. That's what be stressing me out. I'm thinking I'm gonna do all this stuff on this one day. No way. I got the whole week by myself. But by the time I get off, it's going to be kind of, eh, it won't be dark, but whatever. Like, I want to clean out my garage. I try to clean out my garage out because I'm preparing to put something else in my garage. And I got mm-hmm. to make room in my garage. You know what I mean? I plan on getting my office together because I want to create my own little oasis. I want to bought me some plants yesterday. I was like, oh, girl, go back. I can't believe I bought some plants, child. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this girl gone. Like, seriously, I went and bought some plants yesterday, like some house plants. Knowing damn well, I don't know how I went on it. First thing about no damn plants. Well, you love uh, Insta, so you can learn a lot. There's a lot of good reels up there about taking care of plants. So, yeah, I was trying to find them yesterday, but then I got caught into the reels. See, and that's how Instagram and social media get you. You on there for one thing, and then you end up in somebody's timeline 50 years ago. Cr- look, be crying and shit on somebody's reels. <laughs> But, you know, I want to book up. I started off with four. I started off with four. That's a lot for a start. Yeah, it is a lot. I bought four plants. I'm glad that she's going to say I bought two. Hold on. Okay. One over here, one over there. I bought four. Okay. Um, Nice little, you know, good size plants with some greenery, whatever. I bought a fern. Where you found them at? The grocery store? No, I went to um, Home Home Depot. Okay. Going to Happy Hope Depots. Yeah, right. I got some plant food. So what I want, like I said, what I want to do is make my office s- slash my oasis. I come in here and just sit out on the floor, meditate, get my mind together, breathe. Boom. He's singing to this too. See, you're supposed to, you know, that's why I said I'm going to have to create my own little o- oasis <laughs> in the room. Because if I have to start, it won't be a problem. I talk to my ancestors, so people probably think I'm crazy about doing that too. So eh, you know what? It is what it is. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get you know. You know, I booked my first trip, child, girl. Well, you got to be clear. Your first international, international trip. Yeah. Yes. About, you, you gotta be clear the, about that one. Get the passport stamped. About to get a stamp. <laughs> My first stamp. Oh, hallelujah! 
what you here for? How long are you staying? <laughs> Those are the questions they're going to be asking. <laughs> How long I'm staying? It depends. Am I going to find Winston over here? They're going to be coming to find you if you, if you extend that stay. <laughs> Look. Oh, for real, they're going to find you. Child. Who going to come find me? Then they check me. Who going to check me, boo? Sheree. Mm. Where's she at? Mm -mm. Child. What happened to she, she by Sheree? What mm -mm. happened to that line? Mm -mm. Girl. But yeah, um, yeah, they, they ask you all these questions, you know, when you get when you leaving, you know, they want to know like what did you buy? Did you buy anything? You know, all that type of stuff. Did you bring food? Are you bringing food? Are you bringing I forget the stuff on the list? Yeah, because I think like the pesticides or whatever stuff that's in it, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They give you this little card. When you closer to the to landing, then you start passing around the card. And nobody got a pen, so pack a pen. Because everybody always want to use somebody's pen. You already know how I feel about people using my stuff. No, I only got one, and it just stopped working after I finished. I, I ran out of ink. You're like, God, <laughs> like, God damn it. The At least I finished my name. <laughs> it don't even like, work no more. <laughs> <laughs> it said, look, look, I got up. Will a pencil work? The, no, no pencil. Oh, oh damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. But shout out to booking your first trip. And she gonna do the same thing she did for Florida. Ain't packing nothing but suits. <laughs> that was a shame. <laughs> no, this time I'm gonna be more prepared. I'm gonna go buy me some dresses. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I still got dresses from last year. That you didn't wear. From Fashion Over that I have not put on yet. I'm you trying to wait they... until I find until I give me a booze on these dates so I can have me some date night. Girl, clothing. don't be waiting for them. Uh -uh, you no, gotta rock this well, no. I That's still what you said. I'm just saying. I said I still got more clothes. Like I got clothes on clothes. Like I'm right. Oh, I'm ready to go on these date nights. Like first of all, if you don't wear them clothes to go on your own dang date, don't be waiting for nobody to rock this chain because I'm trying to see I what it looks look like. I know I can do that, but I'm just saying. Can I get a date night? Come, somebody be no, like, you can get a date night every week. I be there at eight. Be at eight. Oh, Got yourself a date ready at eight. Hey, and don't be late for the don't date. Don't be late. You're you know what I'm talking about. Ms. B got bars. Yeah. Bars for days. What? Just but I'm, I'm just saying, to... look, just... wear the outfit, right? Then when you get a date, you re-rock it, but you re you know, re redo it, rework the fit. You understand? New belt, new. You new know, accessory. I know that, but it's the clothes. You know, I'm I it's it's, it's certain clothes, right? I haven't worn it for once. I got a whole Michael Kors outfit on the ward once to a wedding from two, three years ago. That's one hey. thing, like, I guess I'm the kind of the same way because I got a lot of stuff that I haven't even worn yet, you know, so. I'm going to wear that damn Michael Kors outfit. Wear that thing. That's the blue thing? Yup. Mm -hmm. See, I be knowing. And it was cute because, you know, you know, <laughs> them outfits, they look cute on me. But the ones that halter right here, the yeah. halter, Jake, I'd be like, I mean, not, it's not halter. It's a Straps. Halter. Straps. You know, somebody go, like, whatever. <laughs> but it, it's the cut, the way it cuts, like, because my shoulders are so kind of whatever. But it'd it be looking good on me. And I'd be like, damn, girl, you look nice. Like, Something wrong with her. Somebody get her. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, you definitely gonna fi try to figure out who's gonna take these pics for you. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. But look, wear the outfit, don't wait for the date, okay? That's it. Friday but Friday. Friday please Friday. take care of yourself. Take the time out each day or one day out the week, you know, and do something for yourself. Even if you steam your face for like five minutes, do something. Go exfoliate. Use some toner. You know, go, go, go get some oils or something. That's it. You know, you, you want to just do soak your feet. You know, because I don't go to the to the to the what they call it, the nail salon. I, I got my own little base. You know, the little baby base, they, you know, little hospital base, and I got one of them. I had a whole listen. I bought my own. You know, the um, what the thing called, the cuticle cutter, mm -hmm. and that little thing that go up under there to get that old soap from under your toe. 
you know, that thing, the scooper, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. I got the whole shebang. So I did that. Nails came out popping. Don't put a sock on after you do your nails. Even if you let it dry for two days, don't put a sock on and then go on an airplane. Because that's every time I do that, what happened? That one left toe, <laughs> the left toe. I don't know what that had to do with anything, but I just See, had to tell that's why I got to go to the nail salon and go and get that gel polish because I ain't got time to be waiting for nothing. <laughs> well, now they got gel polish that you can use yourself. You ain't got to go to the nail salon, so I couldn't well, get it. Well, again, I'm not, good at, I'm not good at painting nails. I'm not you good at anything. It. That's the only thing I'm not good at. I'm good at doing my own hair. I'm good at doing whatever I can do to do my hair. But when it comes to nails, nope. Fingernail polish be all jacked up. Be all, mm -mm, nope. Just go to the nail salon. That's where I look. My this money. is why I don't go. The, like, you know, you see which fingers do better. <laughs> the left hand just be going right. through stuff. It be breaking. But the right hand be chilling. Dominant hand, I don't know how, but whatever. They about as long as Keita's. Mm -hmm. I just put a little extra tip on yesterday. Okay, okay. Just a little extra. But you know, usually my nails do grow out this long. They'll mm -hmm. be done grow out this long by the time within about two weeks, three mm -hmm. weeks. <laughs> but like I'm going to have to keep them cut though because you know I can't be having motorcycle gloves on <laughs> look I can't even make a fist with these you know crazy but look anything that's going to cause you to relax release that's what you need to do relax relate, release oh my relax, gosh come relate, on with me <laughs> Whitley, was it Whitley? Mm -hmm. And um, what's her name? Debbie Allen. Yes. Whitley. Really? 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 I can't. She, she wanted to go talk to the way she said. <sighs> <laughs> Wish they would have just like let us see the wedding and all that. What you mean? Like, you know, when they did the whole going away thing, I wanted to see that. I, I wanted them to do a real thing because he came in and, you know, disrupted the other wedding. I wanted to see them do... Oh, their own wedding. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to see... What's when it? say, not my girl. Right. Get out of here. When her mother came over there, Russ her so, um, what's her name, Diane Carroll? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. She was too much as her mom. She was too much. I, I do. Which the girl said I do. <laughs> so, why do self-care? Because it puts things into perspective. It recharges you. When? Any day. How? Nail salon. Facial spa at home or at, at a spa. You know, Keita like going to spas. You know, and you sit in a little sauna. Little hot tub, jacuzzi, or whatever, you know. Get you fresh and you know, get, get yes. nice, you know, get a nice little glow, get yeah. a nice little recharge. And men, men, it's okay for y'all self care too. Women, let these men self care. Let them go get their toes done. And if they yeah. want to put clear nail polish on, so what? No, let them get their mind together. She because said so. sometimes y'all don't let these men get their mind together and then y'all be wondering why he around here looking crazy half the time. Let him get his mind right. Get out of his face. That part. But like I said, they can go get their feet done too. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of them joke feet be... Mm -hmm. Honey, honey. Them, mm -hmm. them men's be in there, honey. Them, <laughs> this is... <laughs> And we talk about the manly man too. They be in there. Them men be in there, honey child. Them feet, baby. Why do <laughs> why is the bottom of your feet brown, honey? That like brown. The square then when they be scraping their feet, you be like, no, brown. And Keita know she be looking at people's stuff. <laughs> I try not to look at other people's feet, honey, because I mean <sighs> but That's at why I don't like going because everybody always looking at somebody else. Oh, child, but don't people feet. I, it, it, it never fails. I'm all sometimes I'm always beside somebody whose feet just look like that's what I said because I'm a you know, I used to be a model, so model feet is real. But I always say I got model feet, but I ain't got model feet, okay, honey. I can still rock a sandal, I can still rock an open toe, peep toe. Don't folks' you know, feet be looking some of them people's they, them I'd be like, like whoa. They sitting there like, and they still rocking them heels. Ooh, like this. Child. I'd be like, child. No. Did you have a fight with your, with your shoes? And it's like, 
you can't, I guess you can correct it, but that's a lot of surgery. If you got mm. this, they got a thing, stretch your feet back out. That means they breaking all of these bones. Oh, yeah. That's Listen, too much. I, I broke a pinky toe and my toe still look like, it uh -huh. still don't look like their feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with her for the day. That's it. I broke a whole pinky toe, honey. I was not about to have no, no crazy looking. What'd she do? What'd she do? I was not going to have no crazy looking feet, honey. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Honey, this Yo. pinky toe would not. We won't break my toe. I told Kay that she needed to get a t-shirt that has her one saying and her finger because only she can do the finger Bam. that she's doing what she got to go. So when she say over there, her finger only... <laughs> she... That's it. But um, that's all I got for self-care. Go and get your head, your face, your body together, okay? You want to get a full body scrub, full body rub? Go ahead. Go and do it. Come on now. Even if it's too cold, I'm hey, done with her for today. Hey, 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 Somebody hey, come hey. get her. But this is it. This this <laughs> this is <laughs> this is 142. Self-care. This one little piece of feather keep flying past my face. If you didn't see me going like this the whole time, that's what I was doing, trying to catch it. <laughs> it just keep flying past my face. I'm gonna need you to sit down somewhere. Anyway, but yeah, episode 142. Self-care with Miss B and Keita. You know what I'm saying? It's necessary. It's necessary. Don't wait for your birthday. Don't wait for Valentine's Day. Don't wait for Mother's Day. Don't wait for Father's Day. Do it now. Do it now. Because if you, you really want to go. Take care of yourself. And nobody else will take care of you, honey. Listen, Groupon is still yourself. a thing. Groupon is still a thing. Mm -hmm. Don't do like other people when you buy them a gift. Okay, you buy them the, 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 the daggone gift to go ahead and go. They have a whole year to go. At the year. What happened? Can you to tell the story? Oh, she never made it. Don't keep me waiting. Coming to my house. Hey, give me my body. <laughs> give me my body. You see what she did, though. She ain't go. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to gift her self-care. She ain't take it. So go do your own self. Look, go and do your own self-care now. See how she looking down. <laughs> you know, at, at that time my mind wasn't my my, my mind wasn't right. That's I mean, the whole point of going. My mind wasn't right. It had people in my face. Oh, out man. In the face. That's why I gifted her because she needed the time it away. It wasn't gonna the do the job at the time when the people was in my face. I would have been still stressed out. Shoulders would have still been tense. Got home and I would have been like, ugh. So now she gotta buy me one so I don't go. <laughs> Do we be eating? <laughs> but I, you know, I'm still I'm gonna go though. <laughs> anyway, that's a good laugh for you. Nice little throwback. How many years ago was that? Never mind, I'm gonna just let it go. I ain't gonna let it go though. I'm gonna bring it up every time I get a chance because it's funny to me. <laughs> Cause I miss beat. That's Sound like I it. hear your cousins in the street. Uh oh, rrr, rrr. yo, Rough Riders was out. They was out <laughs> in the city. Okay. <laughs> His casket though. <laughs> Did you see it? On back of the truck. That cat, yo. I was scared. I was like, oh Lord, is the strap? <laughs> is the strap yeah. down? Uh, that thing. Was the yeah. size of the bed was the size of the casket, and I'm like, yeah, it was tight. It was like if it would have just. Yeah, I think the police officers out there with their phones going like this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to have ride by or rode by Yonkers, you know, where he's from and stuff. Yo, these allergies is disrespectful. Mm -mm. But yeah, it was a good service. They're gonna actually stream it. Well, this gonna be after the fact. It's on, it's on YouTube. It's on BT. They're gonna do a big old thing today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, BET yeah. gonna put their little spin on it. Um, but knowing BET, they're gonna replay that thing all week anyway. So you'll be you'll be catching this. But yeah, it was good. Here it was nice. Boom. Here comes the boom. All them kids was up on stage, I'll tell you that. All of them. Mm -hmm. How many is it? 15 or 18? Good. 15. 15? No, they was all up there. Yeah. How was his son? The one he was on with, on with Ayah? Is that the oldest, oldest? 
I think he was there. I don't know his name, but there was the older one who was talking, like really like, um, but he got choked up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, the littlest one had a little rap, the boy. And then I think the littlest girl had her own rap. But the, the young boy, he he was choked. He was getting choked up. It was like, dang. It was something. He got some good kids, though. Got some good kids. They know who he is. They know who God is. And, you know, he instilled that much in them. She was like, yeah, my dad always taught us how to say thank, thank you, you know. Excuse me, because there's blessings everywhere. I was like, wow. That's what, That's what I'm saying. Good never, guy. never, never, you know, judge a book by his cover. Mm -hmm. By their cover, because he yep. knew. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I can not say about him. He knew. His grandmama. His grandmama. But it was good, y'all. It was a good weekend. Yeah, y'all. So we'll see you. We got a guest on next week. Oh, we got some queens coming on. So, you know, make sure y'all tune in. Okay. But it's your girls, Miss B and Kita. Make sure you have a good day. Make sure you get that self-care in. Smile, laugh. You know what I'm saying? Drop a little dance move real quick. It's Kamari. Hey, do it. Do a little something for something. You know, like smile. Kirk Franklin said it. You look better when you smile. Oh. Ting. But that's it. This is it. We'll see y'all next time. It's your girls. That's it. Miss B and Kita. Peace.